There is the world, and then there is a photograph. A photograph is not the world. It's, it's, it's a completely different thing. When you're photographing, and you're walking through the world, something catches you, you notice something, and you, you're connecting with it, and you respond to it. You're, basically, you're saying yes to it. You're saying, yes, it's interesting. You're kind of like a free agent between your instinct, your anticipation, and your intelligence. And all of those things are keep continually moving back and forth in a very fluid way while you're photographing. And that experience is, is really pleasurable. It's really exciting and it's really uh, the driving, it's the reason that I photograph. That and the way photographs look, the way they describe the world. After I've photographed, I, I wait a, quite a while before I actually look at the stuff that I've photographed. For a year, two years, sometimes longer than that. I have contact sheets in my studio now that are from 2007, 2008, that I haven't really even looked at. So I need to be distant from that subjective experience so that I can see what the photograph itself contains. I put all of the photographs up in my studio on the walls. I began to live in the world of those photographs and I would walk past the, the photographs just like I might walk past a tree or a, a corner in the actual physical world. And I moved in ways that the work was dictating I move. And it allowed me to exist not in the physical world but in the world the physical world described in photographs. And as I did that, I began to discover things. There, there is a distinct physical dimension that is very, very singular that's being described in these photographs. In general terms, we'd think of it as vantage point. But what it's saying, it's announcing where you are when you're looking at these photographs. And it's forming a kind of contention between us, the viewer, looking, and the scene that they're looking at. And there's a play between those two things that forms a certain kind of content in the work. And it is the connective tissue that runs through the whole project. So you have the appearance of the photograph, you have the experiential knowledge of the viewer, and you have their own imagination. And it's that event that shapes the meaning of the photograph. This work incidents, I think it, it, it's, in many ways, what I want to do is say, let me take you on a walk, and we'll start here. And then as we're walking, I say, oh, look at that. Wow, look at that over there. Look at this. And we take a walk together, and when the walk ends, that's the experience. Thank you.